Hello and welcome to eBible Fellowship Sunday Afternoon Bible Study. Today we're going to take a look at why May 21, 2011 is the beginning of Judgment Day, and there are three main proofs for May 21, 2011 being the beginning. As we have learned, the Judgment Day is a prolonged period of time, but it began on May 21, 2011. And before we understand that May 21, 2011 was the beginning of Judgment Day, we have to first realize that God has placed in His Word a biblical calendar of history. In this biblical calendar, primarily found in the genealogies in the early chapters of the book of Genesis, God has laid out the history of the world from the very beginning. We are able to determine the creation date, which was 11,013 B.C., and many other important biblical dates. We can project the biblical calendar into the future through time pass, and all kinds of things began to unfold. All sorts of understanding of God's times and seasons began to neatly fall into place, and we understood the duration of the church age would be 1,955 years. We understood the time of the Great Tribulation would be 23 years, and we could pinpoint it to exact days and months and years all as a result of the Lord opening up the scripture to reveal his biblical calendar. Now, concerning proofs for May 21, 2011 being the beginning of Judgment Day, first of all, God created the world in 11,013 B.C. And from that date, we find that there were certain patterns, timelines, or time paths where God will make a statement indicating what will happen. A time path has a starting point and an ending point, and that's what he does with the 70 weeks of Daniel 9. And so God has given time paths from creation to the flood, and we're able to see that the flood occurred 6,023 years exactly from the creation. And that is a significant number because we'll find that it is part of a pattern that God will establish in the Bible of going to the fullness of a number, 6,000 in this case, and then adding on a tribulation period of 23 years. 6,023, then the world was destroyed with a flood. Well, going from the flood to the cross, and the flood occurred in 4990 B.C., and the cross took place in 33 A.D., and when we add the two numbers together, we get 5,023 calendar years, not exact years, but calendar years. Yet again, we see the fullness of the number, 5,000, and five pointing to the atonement, and thousand, ten, one hundred, or thousand in the Bible points to completeness. So from the flood in 4990 BC unto the completeness of the atoning work of Christ as he would demonstrate the things he did from the foundation of the world in 33 AD, 5,000 plus 23 years of tribulation period that is added on. And again, there's that pattern, the fullness of the number in thousands and a tribulation period. Well, likewise, from creation in 11,013 B.C. to the end of the Great Tribulation and Judgment Day on the world, the first earth was destroyed after 6,023 years with a flood. Well, the second world, the one we live in, this present earth, is destroyed spiritually after 13,023 years. As the year 1988 was the 13,000th year of Earth's history, 23-year period of Great Tribulation from 1988 until 2011. Then in the year 2011, it was 13,023 years since the creation, following that pattern fullness of the number in thousands, then a 23-year tribulation period that leads to the judgment. 
the judgment of the flood, the judgment of the cross, the judgment of mankind at the end of the world. 